secularization or secularization is the transformation of a society from close identification and affiliation with religious values and institutions toward non-religious values and secular institutions. The secularization thesis refers to the belief that as societies progress, particularly through modernization and rationalization, religion loses its authority in all aspects of social life and governance. The term secularization is also used in the context of the lifting of the monastic restrictions from a member of the clergy. Secularization refers to the historical process in which religion loses social and cultural significance. As a result of secularization, the role of religion in modern societies becomes restricted. In secularized societies faith lacks cultural authority, and religious organizations have little social power. Secularization has many levels of meaning, both as a theory and a historical process. Social theorists such as Karl Marx, Sigmund Freud, Max Weber, and Emil Durkheim, postulated that the modernization of society would include a decline in levels of religiosity. Study of this process seeks to determine the manner in which, or extent to which religious creeds, practices and institutions are losing social significance. Some theorists argue that the secularization of modern civilization partly results from our inability to adapt broad ethical and spiritual needs of mankind to the increasingly fast advance of the physical sciences. In contrast to the modernization thesis, Christian Smith and others argue that secularization is promoted by intellectual and cultural elites to enhance their own status and influence. Smith believes intellectuals have an inherent tendency to be hostile to their native cultures, causing them to embrace secularism. The term also has additional meanings, primarily historical and religious. Applied to church property, historically it refers to the seizure of monastic lands and buildings, such as Henry VIII's dissolution of the monasteries in England and the later acts during the French Revolution as well as by various anti-clerical enlightened absolutist European governments during the 18th and 19th centuries, which resulted in the expulsion and suppression of the religious communities which occupied them. The 19th century Kulturkampf in Germany and Switzerland and similar events in many other countries also were expressions of secularization. Still, another form of secularization refers to the act of prince bishops or holders of a position in a monastic or military order, holding a combined religious and secular authority under the Catholic Church, who broke away and made themselves into completely secular, typically, Protestant hereditary rulers. For example, Gotthard Ketteler, the last master of the Livonian order, converted to Lutheranism, secularized and took to himself the lands of Semigallia and Courland which he had held on behalf of the order, which enabled him to marry and leave to his descendants the Duchy of Courland and Semigallia. In the 1960s there was a shift toward secularization in Western Europe, North America, Australia, and New Zealand. This transformation was intertwined with major social factors, economic prosperity, youth rebelling against the rules and conventions of society, women's liberation, radical theology, and radical politics. Topic Background Secularization is sometimes credited both to the cultural shifts in society following the emergence of rationality and the development of science as a substitute for superstition. Max Weber called this process the disenchantment of the world, and to the changes made by religious institutions to compensate. 
At the most basic stages, this begins with a slow transition from oral traditions to a writing culture that diffuses knowledge. This first reduces the authority of clerics as the custodians of revealed knowledge. As the responsibility for education has moved from the family and community to the state, two consequences have arisen. Collective conscience as defined by Durkheim is diminished. Fragmentation of communal activities leads to religion becoming more a matter of individual choice rather than an observed social obligation. A major issue in the study of secularization is the extent to which certain trends, such as decreased attendance at places of worship, indicate a decrease in religiosity or simply a privatization of religious belief, where religious beliefs no longer play a dominant role in public life or in other aspects of decision-making. The issue of secularization is discussed in various religious traditions. The government of Turkey is an often cited example, following the abolition of the Ottoman Caliphate and foundation of the Turkish Republic in 1923. This established popular sovereignty in a secular republican framework, in opposition to a system whose authority is based on religion. As one of many examples of state modernization, this shows secularization and democratization as mutually reinforcing processes, relying on a separation of religion and state. In expressly secular states like India, it has been argued that the need was to legislate for toleration and respect between quite different religions, and likewise, the secularization of the West was a response to drastically violent intra-Christian feuds between Catholicism and Protestantism. Some have therefore argued that Western and Indian secularization is radically different in that it deals with autonomy from religious regulation and control. Considerations of both tolerance and autonomy are relevant to any secular state. <laughs> Definitions C. John Somerville outlined six uses of the term secularization in the scientific literature. The first five are more along the lines of definitions, while the sixth is more of a clarification of use. When discussing macro social structures, secularization can refer to differentiation, a process in which the various aspects of society, economic, political, legal, and moral, become increasingly specialized and distinct from one another. When discussing individual institutions, secularization can denote the transformation of a religious into a secular institution. Examples would be the evolution of institutions such as Harvard University from a predominantly religious institution into a secular institution with a divinity school now housing the religious element illustrating differentiation. When discussing activities, secularization refers to the transfer of activities from religious to secular institutions, such as a shift in provision of social services from churches to the government. When discussing mentalities, secularization refers to the transition from ultimate concerns to proximate concerns. E.g., individuals in the West are now more likely to moderate their behavior in response to more immediately applicable consequences rather than out of concern for post-mortem consequences. This is a personal religious decline or movement toward a secular lifestyle. When discussing populations, secularization refers to broad patterns of societal decline in levels of religiosity as opposed to the individual level secularization of four above. This understanding of secularization is also distinct from one above in that it refers specifically to religious decline rather than societal differentiation. 
when discussing religion, secularization can only be used unambiguously to refer to religion in a generic sense. For example, a reference to Christianity is not clear unless one specifies exactly which denominations of Christianity are being discussed. Abdul Wahab El Messiri outlined two meanings of the term secularization partial secularization, which is the common meaning of the word, and expresses the separation between religion and state. Complete secularization, this definition is not limited to the partial definition, but exceeds it to the separation between all religion, moral, and human values, and not just the state, but also to the human nature in its public and private sides, so that the holiness is removed from the world, and this world is transformed into a usable matter that can be employed for the sake of the strong. Topic: Sociological use and differentiation. As studied by sociologists, one of the major themes of secularization is that of differentiation, i.e., the tendency for areas of life to become more distinct and specialized as a society becomes modernized. European sociology, influenced by anthropology, was interested in the process of change from the so-called primitive societies to increasingly advanced societies. In the United States, the emphasis was initially on change as an aspect of progress, but Talcott Parsons refocused on society as a system immersed in a constant process of increased differentiation, which he saw as a process in which new institutions take over the tasks necessary in a society to guarantee its survival as the original monolithic institutions break up. This is a devolution from single, less differentiated institutions to an increasingly differentiated subset of institutions. Following Parsons, this concept of differentiation has been widely applied. As phrased by Jose Casanova, this core and the central thesis of the theory of secularization is the conceptualization of the process of societal modernization as a process of functional differentiation and emancipation of the secular spheres—primarily the state, the economy, and science from the religious sphere and the concomitant differentiation and specialization of religion within its own newly found religious sphere." Casanova also describes this as the theory of «privatization» of religion, which he partially criticizes. While criticizing certain aspects of the traditional sociological theory of secularization, however, David Martin argues that the concept of social differentiation has been its most useful element. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Current issues in secularization. At present, secularization as understood in the West is being debated in the sociology of religion. In his works Legitimacy of the Modern Age and The Genesis of the Copernican World Hans Blumenberg has rejected the idea of a historical continuity, fundamental the so-called theorem of secularization. The modern age in his view represents an independent epoch opposed to antiquity and the Middle Ages by a rehabilitation of human curiosity in reaction to theological absolutism. Blumenberg targets Loeth's argument that progress is the secularization of Hebrew and Christian beliefs and argues to the contrary that the modern age, including its belief in progress, grew out of a new secular self-affirmation of culture against the Christian tradition. 
Wolfhart Pannenberg, a student of Loeth, has continued the debate against Blumenberg. Charles Taylor in A Secular Age challenges what he calls the subtraction thesis that science leads to religion being subtracted from more and more areas of life. Proponents of secularization theory demonstrate widespread declines in the prevalence of religious belief throughout the West, particularly in Europe. Some scholars, e.g., Rodney Stark, Peter Berger, have argued that levels of religiosity are not declining, while other scholars, e.g., Mark Chavez, N.J. Demarath, have countered by introducing the idea of neo-secularization, which broadens the definition of secularization to include the decline of religious or authority and its ability to influence society. In other words, rather than using the proportion of irreligious apostates as the sole measure of secularity, neo-secularization argues that individuals increasingly look outside of religion for authoritative positions. Neo-secularizationists would argue that religion has diminishing authority on issues such as birth control, and argue that religion's authority is declining and secularization is taking place even if religious affiliation may not be declining in the United States a debate still taking place. Finally, some claim that demographic forces offset the process of secularization, and may do so to such an extent that individuals individuals can consistently drift away from religion even as society becomes more religious. This is especially the case in societies like Israel with the ultra-Orthodox and religious Zionists where committed religious groups have several times the birth rate of seculars. The religious fertility effect operates to a greater or lesser extent in all countries, and is amplified in the West by religious immigration. For instance, even as native whites became more secular, London, England, has become more religious in the past 25 years as religious immigrants and their descendants have increased their share of the population. Regional developments <inaudible> United States 1870–1930. Christian Smith examined the secularization of American public life between 1870 and 1930. He noted that in 1870 a Protestant establishment thoroughly dominated American culture and its public institutions. By the turn of the 20th century, however, positivism had displaced the Baconian method which had hitherto bolstered natural theology and higher education had been thoroughly secularized. In the 1910s, legal realism gained prominence, de-emphasizing the religious basis for law. That same decade publishing houses emerged that were independent of the Protestant establishment. During the 1920s secularization extended into popular culture and mass public education ceased to be under Protestant cultural influence. Although the general public was still highly religious during this time period, by 1930 the old Protestant establishment was in shambles. Key to understanding the secularization, Smith argues, was the rise of an elite intellectual class skeptical of religious orthodoxies and influenced by the European Enlightenment tradition. They consciously sought to displace a Protestant establishment they saw as standing in their way. 2008 2017. Annual Gallup polls from 2008 through 2015 showed that the fraction of American who did not identify with any particular religion steadily rose from 14.6% in 2008 to 19.6% in 2015. 
At the same time, the fraction of Americans identifying as Christians sunk from 80.1% to 75% during the same time. This trend continued until 2017 when 21.3% of Americans declared no religious identity. Given that non-Christian religions stayed roughly the same at about 5% from 2008 to 2015 secularization seems to have affected primarily Christians. Britain. History In Britain, secularisation came much later than in most of Western Europe. It began in the 1960s as part of a much larger social and cultural revolution. Until then the post-war years had seen a revival of religiosity in Britain. Sociologists and historians have engaged in vigorous debates over when it started, how fast it happened, and what caused it, sponsorship by royalty, aristocracy, and influential local gentry provided an important support system for organized religion. The sponsorship faded away in the 20th century, as the local elites were no longer so powerful or so financially able to subsidize their favorite activities. In coal mining districts, local collieries typically funded local chapels, but that ended as the industry grew distressed and the unionized miners rejected elite interference in their local affairs. This allowed secularizing forces to gain strength. <inaudible> Recent developments Data from the annual British Social Attitudes Survey and the Biennial European Social Survey suggest that the proportion of Britons who identify as Christian fell from 55% in 1983, to 43% in 2015. While members of non-Christian religions, principally Muslims and Hindus, quadrupled, the non-religious nuns now make up 53% of the British population. More than 6 in 10 nuns were brought up as Christians, mainly Anglican or Catholic. Only 2% of nuns were raised in religions other than Christian, people who were brought up to practice a religion, but who now identifies as having no religion, so-called non-verts, had different non-version rates, namely 14% for Jews, 10% for Muslims and Sikhs and 6% for Hindus. The proportions of the non-religious who convert to a faith are small, 3% now identify as Anglicans, less than 0.5% convert to Catholicism, 2% join other Christian denominations and 2% convert to non-Christian faiths. Topic: India. Hinduism, which is the dominant way of life in India, has been described as a culture and civilization of ancient origin that is intrinsically secular. India, post-independence, has seen the emergence of an assertive secular state. Topic. China One traditional view of Chinese culture sees the teachings of Confucianism, influential over many centuries, as basically secular. Chang Pao Min summarizes perceived historical consequences of very early secularization in China. The early secularization of Chinese society, which must be recognized as a sign of modernity, has ironically left China for centuries without a powerful and stable source of morality and law. 
All this simply means that the pursuit of wealth or power or simply the competition for survival can be and often has been ruthless without any sense of restraint. Along with the early secularization of Chinese society which was equally early, the concomitant demise of feudalism and hereditary aristocracy, another remarkable development, transformed China earlier than any other country into a unitary system politically, with one single power center. It also rendered Chinese society much more egalitarian than Western Europe and Japan. In this arguably secular setting, the Chinese Communist Party regime of the People's Republic of China in power on the Chinese mainland from 1949 promoted deliberate secularization. Topic Arab world Many countries in the Arab world show signs of increasing secularization. For instance, in Egypt, support for imposing Sharia Islamic law fell from 84% in 2011 to 34% in 2016. Egyptians also pray less. Among older Egyptians, 55 90% prayed daily in 2011. Among the younger generation, age 18 to 24, that fraction was only 70%. By contrast, in 2016 these numbers had fallen to. See also